I forgot to show you guys, last week I hit my goal. I told you two weeks ago when I started doing three second negative squats, I wanted to hit five plates really soon. Seven days after that, I finally hit five plates in a commercial gym with a whippy bar, move nice and clean. So today's our third week. We're gonna bump up to 500. Little, little baby temple squat PR. Three second negatives. Let's go. Come on, big air, let's go. Ooh. Considering nine months ago, I just hit the 500 pounds for an all out max for the regular squat form. Pretty happy with that. Last week, 495 moved at like an RPE 7. So I did my back off sets for 405. Today, that moved a little bit rougher, being like five pounds heavier. Moved like an RPE 9. So to compensate, backing off on the back off sets making the 385 so just compensating the single felt a little bit heavy this week so working sets will be a little lighter it's all about preserving that cns natty life boy time to bench second time benching this week let's recap first day of benching you saw in the last video that's my heaviest most intense bench day i worked up to a heavy single of 365 pounds and then broke down to six working sets with 315 pounds all pause reps that day is very specific i have the numbers given to me ahead of time i have to hit those numbers and those numbers will rise with every week or every other week today day number two we're giving ourselves a little bit of a break on the volume just a little bit and in on the weight we're not going quite as heavy and i don't focus too hard on the numbers on this day. I go a lot more by feeling. This day is mostly just to keep the bench, fre bench frequency high. The key to gaining strength is to keep the frequency up. If you want to bench, bench a lot. Bench frequently. Repetition is the, is the father of progress. Today we have to do three working sets of six, pyramiding up in weight each set. And it's going by only RPE. So the first set should be like an RPE six. Second set should be like an RPE seven or eight. Third and final set should be like an RPE nine. So I just feel it out. If I'm feeling really strong on a given day, I might do my first set with 275, and I might do my second and third set with 315. The third set obviously feeling a little bit heavier because I'll be more exhausted than I was in the second set. If it's a really weak day, I might keep all my sets at 275, 295. On a very average day, a normal day, uh, like today, I'll start off with 275 for my first working set, then move up to about 300, 295 in this case, and then end it with 315. Usually I try to end with 315 for my final working set of six. Um, but again, I don't, I don't focus too much on the numbers on this day. Monday is a, is a day of numbers. Today is a day more of feeling and just keeping the bench moving throughout the week. Afterwards, I break down to a very lightweight, usually like 225. I do two quick sets of six with that just to keep the volume high. But again, giving ourselves a break on the weight. And this is the second out of three bench days that I do each and every week leading up to this 405 goal. Once well, something messed up, so every watch that I own is somehow broken. Black one, Lynx just randomly broke on it. The gold watch I love, completely broken. I hooked it against the wall once by accident. By accident. I had a silver one that's like in pieces because it got smashed against the road, also by accident. I got a Daniel Wellington watch, but I hate leather straps, so I never wear it. And I have this old piece right here as an ice watch, sort of like an old G-Shock. We'll leave this back in 2011 where it came from. That last watch went in December 2016. Clearly, I was too young and immature to handle watches in 2016, but 2017 is a brand new year, so we got some brand new stuff. So shout out to Movement for hooking it up with a brand new watch, shiny black chrono, and I'm gonna be mature this time and not break my nice things, so we're gonna keep this one for a long time, that's the goal. They also hooked it up with brand new shades, 
And I have a very odd shaped head, so I had to, of course, go with the aviator style. It's hard being ugly. You gotta find the right shades to fit your head, otherwise you look silly, but love these. Super fresh, super clean. They also gave me a discount code to give to you people. It's Nick Wright 15 Use it on their website to get 15% off. Links in the info box below. Day three of benching, and I've been just re-inspired last night after talking with my coach, Brett Gibbs, about when to aim for this 405 bench press. I'll get into that later. But to show you guys what I do throughout the entire week, here's the third and final day of bench pressing for me, a variation day. We're doing the Spoto Press. This is uh, where you basically just bench like you normally would, except you stop the bar about an inch above your chest. You don't want to stop it too high. You still want to get your full normal range of motion that you would in a regular rep. You want to stop it just before it touches your chest and pause it hovering over your chest. This is gonna keep the entirety of the weight in your arms at all times. So it's gonna keep constant tension on, the mus tension on the muscle, making it harder, but that's going to in turn build up that power and control at the bottom of the rep, and it's gonna make the explosive uh, push on the way back up that much more explosive and strong. So when you go back to a regular rep where you can pause, and what, what you'll realize from doing these is pausing can actually help you sometimes. You, it actually allows you to rest for a second at the bottom of the rep. You can rest most of the weight on your chest. It gives your arms, your shoulders, your chest a little bit of a break from that weight. Uh, so spoto pressing takes that, that rest away. And when you go back to a normal rep, a normal pause rep afterwards, you'll feel that much stronger at the bottom of the rep. You'll feel way more confident holding it for a longer pause. And you'll feel a lot more explosive pushing it back up off of your chest. So we're doing five sets of four with 295 pounds today. I'm hungry for this four plate bench. The next movement we do today is floor presses. I'm with a, a medium grip, so basically a much closer grip than what I usually use to bench. And this really hammers away at the triceps and really works on that lockout portion. The way it hits the triceps is so specific to the way they're activated at the top of a grinder rep. So, so beneficial to your normal bench. Um, we're doing higher reps, sets of 10, three sets of 10. I'm not familiar with sets of 10. I'm not used to them, and I'm not even used to floor presses, and I'm actually not used to a closer grip either. So, still figuring out where my strength is on these for this amount of reps. Uh, did my first set with 295. Was hoping to line up for like 315 for, for my last set for 10, but uh, the way 295 felt, I just stuck with it for my second set. Felt pretty heavy and hard by the end, just because, again, not used to the higher reps, my triceps just felt fatigued. So I actually dropped it down to 275 for my last set to make sure I finished off nice and clean. With variation movements, take some time to figure out and learn where your strength is on them if you're not used to them. It's different than a movement you've been doing forever where you know where your strength is. And make sure to stay conservative. If I tried staying with that same weight for my third set or even went to 315 for my third set and failed it or was grinding by the end of it, it's gonna burn me out and it's not gonna help me get any closer to 405 for my regular bench. So stay conservative, keep the weight moving clean and fast. So the motivation I was talking about, I spoke with my coach Brett Gibbs last night over FaceTime and we talked about timing this 405 bench attempt. So I've been mentally preparing in my head to attempt it at the end of this training cycle. Basically use all the training I'm doing right now to peak myself to it and test it at the end of this block. Brett has it in his head where he might want me to use this block to get all the volume and heavy training and still work with heavy weight, 395, get familiar, get confident with the heavy weight, but then deload, reset, and then start a new training block and use that training block specifically to peak my way up to the 405 bench, like just beeline to the 405 bench. So we're gonna uh, just play it by air and see how we feel at the end of this training block. Um, I'm getting really good at feeling out my own body, uh, attempt selecting. If I get to the end of this training block and I, you know, 385, 395 is moving faster than ever and I'm feeling just good and strong and just ready for 405, we're gonna go for it at the end of this block. If I'm feeling pretty beat up from all the volume, then I'll, I'll follow his guideline and we'll reset and then peek our way for it. Either which way, we're aiming to hit this goal this fall of 2017. So uh, just stay tuned and I'll keep documenting my progress and training leading up to it. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. See you in the next vid.